welcome to the Echo Driving School channel. Um, I've had a lot of uh, requests from my students uh, about the Mitcham test route. So one of the uh, ones that people are still um, a little bit confused is the Thornton Heath Pond roundabout, how to approach that, and then the Lombard roundabout. So what I've decided to do is just give a, a, a commentary of how to approach the Lombard roundabout. Again, this is obviously based on my opinion um, of how I would do things and you know, someone else might have a different opinion of it. I think uh, everyone is right within uh, the framework of the legal framework, so uh, this is just my way of doing it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the uh, Thornton Heath Pond one-way system. It's a roundabout, but it's a traffic light controlled one. So the rules are slightly different, i.e. you don't actually have to signal as you approach that roundabout, you need to maintain lane discipline. And as I do it, uh, I will explain more. So I'm just gonna start the car up, usually do our POM routine. So these are just reminders for people. Remember, P means prepare your car, so find the biting point, um, have your foot near the gas, uh, do your 360 observation, looking over your right blind spot, give a right signal, look over your right blind spot. If no one's coming, then edge out until uh, you, you, know, you move onto the road. At the end of this road, we're gonna turn left. So center left mirror, uh, wait for a large enough gap for you to enter without causing any issue for the car already on the road. Once you straighten up your car, check your center mirror and make progress. Uh, as I'm coming here, I've got a pedestrian crossing, a traffic light controlled. There is a pedestrian there, so I'm a little bit cautious. Uh, the lights haven't changed and I've made my progress. Uh, on the right, you will note the McDonald's, so be wary of cars coming out from that. On the left, you've got other road users who are trying to come out. Uh, I'm just gonna give way to this vehicle and then check my mirrors as I make progress here. As I'm going along here, sometime, uh, I don't know if you can see this uh, white beacon uh, with the island in the middle and it's sort of got like a zebra crossing uh, sign, not sign, but just coloring of black uh, or it's gray and white. It doesn't mean that you need to stop there. All it means is it's a safe place for pedestrians to see if they can cross, um, but you don't have to give way unless the pedestrians are physically either gonna cross in front of you or already are crossing. So as I come, there's an Esso, there's a Lidl, all these um, shops you need to take into consideration because cars will be coming in and out from those roads. Um, as I go along here, just again, uh, observation of what we can see on the left, we have a bus lane which is a 7 to 7, so 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, so make sure you do not use this bus lane at all. And remember, it's a solid white line on the left with a bus lane, which means you must not straddle over it unless you physically can't actually drive in your lane because it's a broken down vehicle. Uh, just spelling out obvious stuff that uh, your instructor would be guiding you on. So I've got another guy who's just coming out into my lane, so I'm gonna allow him to pass and I'm gonna make progress. Got a cyclist on the left. So again, these are all hazard perception. If you think about your hazard perception, this is why you have been doing the hazard perception, so that in reality you understand how to look out for hazards that will be on the road. Now, as we get uh, go towards the Thornton Heath Pond roundabout, you will see another zebra crossing coming up, and a couple of signs they could get you to follow. It could actually be any of the signs. Uh, straight ahead is Croydon, uh, at the roundabout, straight and immediate left is Selhurst and Thornton Heath, and we did that video, um, so that's online as well. The one I am interested in is Brighton and Gatwick. So remember, Brighton and Gatwick is on, on the right-hand side, so one might think, well, I'm turning right at the roundabout, so I need to give a right signal, but that's not the case here, because here it's lane discipline. So I would approach it from the right hand side and then check my left mirror and make sure that I just straight away filter into the left of the two lanes. So you've got two lanes, A20, 
A23 written on the floor and on the right A23 written on the floor. Both of the arrows are showing that you can go right but because we want to take the second exit the left lane is the best one to filter out from. Not to say you can't do it on the right but the left lane is better. Now I've got a parked car in front of me so I check my right and I move over to the right. Uh, I had enough space so therefore I didn't give a signal but sometime another road user might not give you the gap and you will have to give a signal to say that I'm trying to filter back onto the right. Um, so that it's as easy as that, that uh, Thornton Heath Pond um, section. So just make sure, recapping, that you position yourself out of the two lanes. Uh, you position on the left. Initially, you position on the right-hand lane. And as you go past the traffic lights, you position on the left lane on the floor saying A23. Maintain that lane. If it's a green light, you filter into the second exit. It just leads, one lane leads onto the other. Um, so rewind it if you have to, uh, to understand and obviously practice with your instructor as much as you can if you are struggling um, you know, to do that route. Um, so yeah, um, as you go past that, the next one we're gonna do will be the Lombard roundabout. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the hardest uh, exit, the one we're going to take, which is the last exit on the roundabout, uh, signposted Mitcham and Wimbledon, um, or its turn right, fourth exit. Remember, there is a small, uh, on the signpost, there's a small, like a, like a line, which uh, is also an exit, but it won't have any... Uh, like destination written on it. Um, so there are four exits at this roundabout. The first one is known as Canterbury Road is where the um, Croydon Test Centre is. The second exit signposted Croydon. The third exit signposted Brighton and Gatwick. And the fourth exit signposted Mitcham and Wimbledon. That is the exit we want. So as you're approaching, uh, you're approaching on a single lane, so you maintain the center of your lane. As you get to the mouth of the roundabout, just before that, about five car lengths, it starts to branch out into two lanes like a Y. So obviously there you need to position yourself on the right hand side and you need to give a right signal on approach because the exit is after 12 o'clock so the 12 o'clock rule applies here and we will give a right signal. Now I can see the road just uh, the roundabout coming up. There is a road just before the roundabout where there is a restaurant uh, on the corner. So just after that mouth, I'm going to check my center mirror, right mirror and give a right signal. The latest I would say you want to give a right signal is where there's a fat boy's calf on the right hand side. So that is your landmark reference. So here you approach it in first gear. Now remember this roundabout, many people fear it, but there's really nothing to fear. On the right hand side, you need to look for two vehicles on the roundabout that are blocking or a big enough gap for you to enter without causing anybody any problems. So I'm just looking for that gap. So my gap is just about to come. The car, two cars are blocking, three car, four cars are blocking. I've just taken the turn and it was safe for me to do so. Now once I go past the third exit, I check my left mirror, I move over to my left at the same time, giving a left signal. Make sure that you are actually moving to the lane at the same time without causing any issue. I'm just gonna turn left there and come back around on that roundabout and do another exit that sometime people have uh, found it difficult because it's you know quite difficult to do when it's busy. Um, this road that I've come on, sometimes they come here to do the emergency stop. Um, it's a quiet road uh, where there's not that much happening, so they can easily pull you up here and make you do an emergency stop. Uh, just recap yourself an emergency stop. 
just got to remember my videos online my videos online on an emergency stop as well so anybody who wants to have a look at it by all means um, look it up and see how to do it there uh, I won't do another one here um, but you know, it's online so as I'm going along this road uh, watching out for my traffic on both sides at the end of this road I would like us to turn right to centre mirror right mirror and then as I get five car lengths before the junction I'm gonna give a right signal and then take the turn so as I'm coming up it's a blind junction so I'm gonna make sure I stop completely and then I'm gonna peep and creep looking left right left and using my MSPSL routine to do that so yeah a little bit of repetition on what previously I've done but the road demands it so I'm just repeating it for you guys um, so left right mirror I'm turning right here so just checking uh, doing my peep and creep here um, it's quite a uh, quite a blind junction end of this road we're gonna turn right so we're gonna uh, just gonna turn right here um, it's quite a busy road um, so I'm gonna edge out halfway and then hopefully someone's gonna give me way just gonna give thank you to that guy uh, sorry there's some background music noise uh, not coming from my car but there was someone playing some loud music um, so yeah what I did was I came halfway there and I went uh, my my right side was clear um, at least 20 car length it was clear so I went halfway and waited for the cars on the left to uh, give me way now um, over here we're coming back on the roundabout and on the roundabout what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the signs for um, Brighton and Gatwick Wadden A22 which is turning right fourth exit but from this angle so I'm doing the Lombard roundabout uh, this is the test center route angle so you check your center mirror right mirror give a right signal and you approach on the right hand side again uh, I would say it's an easy angle because you've only got to you can see better on this side and you can take the turn easily so I'm looking for that gap as soon as I see there's the gap coming and then I'm going to take the turn um, now as soon as I go past the third exit I'm going to look at my left mirror and I'm going to give a left signal and I'm going to filter into the left hand side Put it into gear one because there was a little bit of traffic on the mouth and then i'll take the turn and that's how easy this exit is again you know if you need to repeat the exit by all means rewind it and look at it and practice with your instructor to make the whole process smooth and you know so that you can become more confident okay thank you for watching the short video uh, again it's just to help you out um, not a long video like before so thank you very much